guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today we're gonna be doing the entrance of Sea Levy. I'm finally building on this island. We have our villager lineup. I'm super, super excited. Uh, we agreed that this island was going to be a modded vanilla island. So what that means is that the island is gonna be modded, but there won't be any actual mods if you know what I mean. So the only thing that's going to be different is I'm going to be using real water instead of a water path, and I'm going to be able to place things in the water. Basically, that's it. That's that's really it. I just wanted the ability to put things in the water. It's not going to have a dream address, but I think what I'm gonna do at the end is I'm going to open it up for tours for anyone who wants to come and see it for themselves, and I'm going to do, of course, a video island tour of it. Um, this is a coastal fishing village and um, it's been a lot of fun to plan out. It is going to have an overwhelming blue theme. Everything's going to be blue. So that was the other thing that everyone had voted on in stream. Because if you come to stream, I do take your opinions and I do incorporate them into the islands. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to have like a fishing port because it's a fishing village. So obviously you, you gotta get there some way, right? So we're gonna make a little cruise ship that's going to dock on our tiny little port here in our little fishing village. And I thought it would just be a really cute thing to make. So we're there's nothing too special about this build. It's just going to be your standard um, standard port. I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this pathing really, really quick. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna build the third tier. For those of you who might remember this build from the good old days of 1.0, this is a basic actual illusion. It's been done like a million, hundred million times. And I did have one of these also on one of my really, really old beginner islands but I wanted to use it here because I thought it would be fun. It's a little bit different um, than anything we've been seeing lately. And of course I wanted to put my own spin on it. So I did go and I drew out all of the windows and things like that, um, just to make sure that it was a little bit more personal. And honestly, it's been quite a while since I've done a really cute perspective build. So I'm really excited about building it. If you guys are wondering why I go and shoot down all of the balloons, honestly, it's for my husband. I don't know if you know my husband, Grumpy Gaming. He has this issue with me leaving the presents on the floor. I have really good logic for that though, you guys. So my reasoning is, is that if I shoot down all the presents, if I just leave them there for a while and then I come back and I um, pick them up all at once, then I have a higher chance of getting things that I'll actually like. You know what I mean? We all know the presents do not always have the best items and they're a little bit disappointing sometimes. But if I actually leave them there and I amass quite a few of them and I open them like say 40 at a time, I feel like 40 is a good number. But if I open them about 40 at a time, then usually I will have at least one or two things in there that I really, really like. And then it won't be sad or disappointing, but it's like Christmas, right? Instead of opening them every single time and experiencing that, like, why did I even get this feeling over and over again? Instead, I get the feeling of having, you know, a really good present or like a, a really good haul every now and again. And I just, it ends up just being a little bit less disappointing that way. So that's my reasoning and that's my logic. And if you guys want to know when I open them, I actually open them in stream on Sundays. Uh, that is our present opening day. Sometimes on Saturdays, if I don't have a lot, I'll go and shoot a bunch down just so that we have more to open in stream. I did make these windows myself. Um, so I haven't put up the creator code, but if you want them, I can upload them. I didn't think they were like important enough or like good enough really to upload or anything like that. Um, especially because no one really does this build too much anymore. But if you are interested in it, then I would be happy to, um, to post it. 
it is a set of two so the top ones don't have a railing and the bottom ones do and i did it like that on purpose because i feel like the railing on a cruise ship is like along the bottom more than it is the top and of course i had to put the helm you can't really see the helm from far away but i know it's there and that makes me feel better that's all that matters and then over here we're just gonna close that right up and this part of the build is already done believe it or not that's as easy as it was it was already done we've got ourselves another present i love how they're all landing over there the next thing i wanted to do was kind of flush out the entrance just a little bit like not too much but i wanted to get some of the entrance kind of going i am going to change out this path i i'm going to make pathing for this island the thing is is that i haven't had a lot of time lately because time's definitely been an issue so i'm going to probably make my own wooden deck path to use throughout the island but it's just gonna it's gonna take a minute so i downloaded some codes to use in the meantime until i get there so far i'm liking the way this is looking i think it came out pretty darn cute we were talking in stream and i think that the way we're gonna go is to have like a bunch of little islands and have like ways of getting there i'm not sure maybe i'll do some hop hops and i'll do a combination of bridges and things like that and it'll just be some a bunch of islands and maybe a villager neighborhood which will be kind of like a dock or something like that i'm not exactly sure i'll figure it out as i go along as always Someone did ask me my island planning strategy or how I planned out these islands. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I don't. I basically pick a theme and then I just roll with it. And whatever happens usually just happens by happy coincidence. Now I do have basic ideas like I knew that I wanted the entrance to give off that ocean coasty kind of vibe and i think we did accomplish that uh otherwise i don't generally have a plan and the reason for that is because a whole lot of my life is planned out and i like a lot of consistency in my life but in my art i don't necessarily and especially not in my gaming because gaming is supposed to be fun and in order to keep it fun i just kind of go with the flow and see what happens i find that i really enjoy the game a lot better when i don't plan it out to that level now, there are things that I do plan out, like getting to three stars and things like that. And if you need help with any of those things, then I would be happy to help you with that. I also sometimes will terraform my islands out in advance. So that way um, I don't have to think about that later. I will terraform and place all of the houses and then I'll go around and I'll decorate the island afterwards. In this case, I'm not going to do that because I don't necessarily have an idea for where I want everything to be. So I don't I don't want to stuff myself into like a box or anything like that just right off. But later on, I could change my mind. I think maybe what I might do is place the houses at the very least. So then that way, after it's all while i'm decorating i don't run out of room for houses and then i will terraform around that but i think maybe i will place the houses in the places that i think that they should go and kind of work with that and then hopefully hopefully i'll be able to work around it and just kind of um terraform around it and then just make adjustments as i need to Sorry, I did need to time jump because those pink trees were just killing me. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love the cherry blossom trees, I love the pink trees, and I just finished a whole pink island, and actually pink did grow on me while I was making that island. But, for this island, it really doesn't work. We're, we're not doing, like, pink core here, it's just, it's not a thing. Derwin is just all over this build. He's super, super cute, and I really like him. He's grown on me so much. I just love the little blue ducky, but he has been all over the place and all in my way. And as cute as he is, he can stop it at any time. 
So the plan here, or what I was thinking here, was that I would go ahead and make like a cute little duck pond with this water code. And then I will put like some little ducks in it. And I just think that would be really cute in this little area right here. Let's count how many times I say cute in a video or stream. I'm pretty sure it's a lot. I do need to come up with some better adjectives, but you know. Anyways, Derwin kind of inspired this little area right here. I saw him sitting around this build so much that I was like, you know, it would be really cute if I made like a little area with ducks because I don't know, it felt very beachy to me. I remember I lived in California, so I remember just sitting and watching like the ducks and the seagulls and stuff at the coast. And I just, I really love it. I did have a rough corner right there and what I used was the white duck decoy in order to cover that up if you guys are ever needing ideas for things like that. Sometimes pathing can't have enough squares to accommodate for like every single rough edge that you could come across when you're building a path. And you can use items to cover up those rough edges and take away that um, sort of feeling that it gives when that happens. I do like using leaf piles and things like that for it. If you're wondering about this particular path, I am going to make one to replace it. But for right now, if you want to use this exact path, this is Colin Crossing's Water and Sand Path, and you can find it over on Instagram. He has all of his codes posted. He is uberly, uberly, uberly talented. And quite honestly, if the flowers didn't have purple in them, I would probably use the path and I might actually use it anyway because I really do love it so so much but if I do end up keeping it and if it does end up staying then just know this is Colin Crossing right here he is almost shockingly talented I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this kind of water or if I'm going to make a path that maybe mimics the water in game a little bit more and make it a little bit flatter but we will see what happens but that is it for this build hopefully you guys like it i really am loving this entrance and thank you so much for being here i know you guys can be anywhere in the entire world you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit i appreciate that so much until next time bye